What's up everyone, Big Dan here. Today I'm going to show you the fastest way to fully upgrade your katana in Ghost of Tsushima. This will allow you to get maximum damage and cut through the Mongol horde with style and ease. For most players, these upgrades will take longer than Bethesda has been working on Elder Scrolls 6, but I'm going to show you how to speed up the process and acquire the materials you need to get the upgrades done faster. For starters, let's take a look at what materials are needed to upgrade the katana. The primary ingredients needed are supplies, iron, steel, and gold. There are six upgrades in total, which will require 3,250 supplies, 320 iron, 155 steel, and 13 gold. The fastest way to get these materials is by clearing out Mongol camps. You'll find tons of supplies, iron, and steel throughout these camps, and you'll usually get iron as a bonus reward for clearing out the camps as well. Now if you're having trouble finding some of these Mongol camps, one quick way to get tips on their locations is by freeing prisoners that you'll find along the road. Now you'll come across random events where Mongols will take somebody prisoner, so just kill the Mongols and then free the prisoner, and most of the time they will tell you of a location on the map. Usually it's going to be a Mongol base or outpost, especially in the early game. It's terrible, my lord. They're cutting down our forest to repair their ships. Where? A logging camp near the eastern coast. You can also just Google map of Mongol camps for Act 1 or Act 2 if you're feeling really lazy. Gold is the rarest resource that you'll need. You receive gold as a reward for clearing out some of the larger Mongol bases. Some examples from Act 1 include liberate Ogawa Dojo, burn down the logging camp, and destroy the shipyard. You can also buy gold from some trappers which are indicated by this little knife symbol. These guys usually hang out in towns and survivor camps, but don't expect them to have more than one gold in their inventory. I bought one gold from a trapper in Yarikawa in Act 2 to get the final upgrade to level 7. It's still a bit of a grind to get all the materials you need, but with these tips you should be able to max out your katana by late in Act 1 or early in Act 2. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Ghost of Tsushima tutorials and discussion on RPGs. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. See ya! Send your best warrior!